Hey Tim, hey everyone else, and welcome back to Four Running Shoes. I had a good week. It was my medium week and my cycle of three, where I have an easy week, medium, and a hard week. Last week was easy week, this week was medium week. So running a little faster, and I had a little bit of speed training in there. I had a tempo run uh, where I ran 10 kilometers, and my 10 kilometer run on the Thursday, I started with a kilometer of warm up, then had tempo for eight, and then a kilometer of warm down. For that run, I felt like my progress has really started to show. Uh, I've had a really good few months, really good start to the year. I've avoided injury by having these extra rest times appropriately. And I'm starting to see the results of that consistent running, not having to stop and pause and wait for my body to recover from overwork or wearing the improper shoes, which I was experiencing a little bit last year. So I was really happy with that. I do find myself comparing my current progress though, to the progress that I had when I was first running, uh, back when I was at university, I had a lot more time and I was younger. I was running faster then. And while I feel like I have had a much more consistent uh, few months and you know the year or two leading up to now, I haven't got to the times that I was running back then. And I found myself needing to pause and not compare myself to the person who I was four or five years ago, because obviously when I'm 20 and 21, I should be able to run faster and harder than I am now. But I believe that I've still got better times in me if I can consistently train like I have been. So I think I'm on the right trajectory. So I believe my best running is still ahead of me, but I need to remember at this time, not to compare myself to me five years ago, but to compare myself if I want to compare myself to me last month, which I can see the difference even a month has made in my training, uh, having these consistent running weeks where I am getting the distance in that I'm planning or I'm getting these speed trainings in and I can see the results happening, which I'm really encouraged by. And just on results and being happy, Tim, I'm really pleased to hear that your training has been surprisingly good. I know that it's been a, a bit of a rough inconsistent start to your year for a number of reasons, but I'm happy that you're still making the progress that you want to be uh, as you prepare for your half marathon upcoming. I'm looking forward to hearing about how this week went for you. I know you're doing some different things with your speed training as you prepare for that half marathon where uh, I, I'm confident you're gonna run a good time. It might not be the sub 90 minutes that you were originally hoping for, but hopefully you're getting close to it. Next week is hard week, so I am looking to add another three kilometers to run 41 kilometers, around 38 this week. And uh, that's the biggest week, that, that'll be the biggest week that I've had in a very, very long time. I had to look back on Strava. I think I ran a, a week of maybe 47 back in 2017, uh, and that was a kind of once off. So I am uh, looking forward to that. I said a few months ago that I was really excited to be getting to running 40 kilometers a week. I feel like I can now that I'm nearly there, I'll say this again after I have done a 40 kilometer week that I'm keen to extend that to 50 and then 60 kilometers where I'll probably palato, but it's a bit hard to tell. We'll find out uh, when we get there. So thank you so much for watching this video. You will see Tim's video on Thursday and you'll see my next video on Tuesday. Take care and we'll see you then.